Hello guys, so this one is going to be Bring Me Sunshine for Complete Beginners. I say complete beginners, uh, it's a difficult song, there's a lot of chords in it, uh, but we're just going to be doing open chords for this one. And the reason that I say beginners is I'm going to be releasing another one in a few weeks time, which is going to introduce the bar chords and it's going to introduce the scales. So if you're watching this a few weeks from now, then a card should be appearing above me right now. And if you're a more advanced player, uh, then maybe go for that one because that one's going to be um, a more advanced tutorial about how to play Bring Me Sunshine in a more complex way. I like doing lessons like that, uh, or I like doing video series like that, I should say, um, because it means that I can I can encourage progression in people. You start with the open chords and then you move on to the bar chords, you move on to the scales, you l learn how to play in more impressive ways. Uh, while you're here, just hit like, hit subscribe, and ding that little bell for notifications. I release regular ukulele tutorials and we can all improve on the ukulele together. When I'm a ukulele vagabond, Gregory puts the name. I strum my ukulele with no ukulele shame. And when I finish strumming, I just pick it up again. So first things first, let's keep it nice and simple, guys. Uh, let's do the strumming. So the strumming, we're just going to do an island strum for this. So that's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. If you are a complete beginner, um, then I'm going to put a card above at the moment where I go into a little bit more detail about how to um, do the island strum, um, but it's fairly straightforward. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because uh, a lot of people watching this will already have mastered that particular strum. Okay, so next let's go over the chords. So if you need to watch this section a couple of times, then do watch this section a couple of times, um, especially if you have difficulty with some of the chords. Some of the chords may be new to you because there's quite a lot of chords in this song. Um, so I'm going to go quite quickly, um, but if you need to watch it again, then do watch it again. So first we have the C chord. So the C chord is, so we hold the ukulele in the crook like this and curve our third finger round and down onto the third fret of the top string, pressing with the tip of our finger, making sure that our finger doesn't go inwards, making sure we're observing perfect technique at all times. Second chord is the D minor chord, so that's second finger, second fret, first string, third finger, second fret, string below, and first finger, first fret, two strings over, so like so. And now we have the G seventh chord. So the G seventh chord is like the G major chord if you've played that one already, but it's kind of backwards. So second finger, second fret, uh, second string in, first finger, first fret, um, uh, one string from the top, that's right, and third finger, second fret, top string. So that's the G seventh chord. C seventh chord is first finger, um, first fret, top string, so it's quite a simple one. And we have the F chord after that, so that's first fret of the first string from the top, and the second finger goes down on the second fret of the first string. So like so. Now the only bar chord that we do on this is the D seventh chord. So the D seventh chord is barring on the um, on the second string. Um, so it goes like that. Making sure that when we do the bar chord, um, we're kind of pressing with our, uh, with our thumb and our thumb comes out at a slight angle like that and we're making sure that our first finger is completely flat and our second finger is coming around and down onto the, onto the uh, third fret of the top string like so. And finally just the D major chord. So if we're already there on the, on the, on the D seventh, we can put our pinky down on the fifth fret and we can do D major like that. Or alternatively, uh, I'll, I'll let you guys choose. We can do first finger, second fret of the first string, second finger, second fret of the string below, and third finger, third fret of the first, first string from the top. So like so. Cool, so those are all the chords. Uh, so let's try playing the song. So remember guys, as I said before, if you need to go back over those chords, then do go back over those chords because we're going to play the song now. So I'm going to count you in and I'm going to say bring me and you start playing on sunshine. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two. Bring me sunshine. So before we play, I'm going to give you guys a little tip just about dynamics. If you want to play loudly, then play with the backs of your second finger and third finger and play with your thumb. So to play like this. So this is a conventional strum. 
arm so your hand is like this and your some of your thumb and your second finger relatively close to each other and you're strumming just about there so just on the fretboard uh, and if you want to play softly then you can hold your hand like this so your finger comes outstretched uh, thumb back like this and you can just play with the end of the end of your finger so listen to this key is to get really really good at transitioning between the two while you're playing. Bring me sunshine in your smile. Bring me laughter And you can kind of play with the dynamics a little bit more. But anyway, let's get started anyway. I don't want to use up any more of your time. Let's get playing. I'm going to play with the dynamics a little bit while I perform. One, two, three, four. One, two. Bring me sunshine in your smile, bring me laughter all the while. In this world where we live, there should be more happiness, so much joy you can give to each brand new bright tomorrow. how to integrate them with Bring Me Sunshine. So I'm going to be releasing an episode on that the next time I release an episode, which uh, I don't really know when. I try to do them weekly, but to be honest with you, I don't have the energy to do them every single week. So anyway, don't forget to tune in next time. Smash like, hit subscribe, and ding that little bell for notifications every single time I release a video. Uh, it helps me become a more popular YouTuber, and hopefully as well, it helps you guys become better ukulele players.